Oh my god, I've finally figured it out. It's taken me hours. Right, in Framer, if you're using Framer, they've got this. You can copy the components to do these really, really cool animations if you go to Framer Motion, I think it is. Uh, anyway, this is the Morpher page, and as you can see, the shapes are morphing into one another. So I thought I'd give it a go. Oh my god, it could not get it to work. I finally sussed out what the problem was. I didn't get it until I went to their demo site and I was looking, I was trying to like make comparisons over what I was doing wrong. And initially when I was calling my images in, they were images, whereas these are graphic shapes and mine weren't. So I thought, oh god, how the hell do you find graphics? So this is what I've done. And as you can see, it's working. So let's go and I will show you what I did that didn't work and then what I finally did to make it work. OK, so we create a frame and then we right click and place that with Morpher. And then what you need to do is call the images in outside of the page. So I was doing image and then chose an image made it fit and then it said that you have to double click it so I double clicked it and that's what happened there I was getting an image so let's duplicate that and then double click it and change the image start outline say so then what you do is you take these three little thingies and you hook it up and then I was just leaving if you scroll down you get the morpher so you can change that how you want it but I was just leaving that for now and absolutely nothing happening. I thought, what the hell? And then I realised after looking at their page that mine aren't graphics. How do I get that then? How do I get that? So I thought, oh, first of all, I thought, well, maybe it's because I've got solid and an outline. So then I tried just the outline and that still didn't work. Anyway, so delete those. What I finally figured out was it didn't like the outline. So I thought I'd try it with just the shape and without the outline. And instead of calling in the image, if you go to the file itself and just drag that in or copy and paste it in. So basically, we're not starting with an image box. We're literally just dragging in the SVG shape. And then I did a little heart as well. Or big heart. Who doesn't love a big heart? Right, so I've got, let's make it a little bit smaller. So it's got these three shapes here. Now then, what you've got to do is double click. As you can see, they're still not graphics. So by double clicking, oh, they've got to be on the outside. I've said that anyway, haven't I? So you've got to double click and then click it again. And that makes it into a shape. Double click it once, you get the graphic. Double click it again, you get the shape. And then you can edit the colours and you can add a stroke here. So we can add a stroke there. So I thought, right, this is going to work, isn't it? So I attached them and then went and played and it was sort of working but what what's going on here where's that square coming from it's kind of is it working is it no it doesn't quite look right does it i thought what the... oh. so i took the stroke off tried again and then it was doing this kind of jumping it's not morphing and oh my god, I was going out my head. I was going, oh, I've done everything right. I've attached it. I haven't, <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. And then I just thought, hmm, it's kind of inside a box. I wonder what will happen if I take these outer boxes out. So click on the outer box and delete because there seemed to be a step in between. I tried changing all the, um, all the, frame rates and the spacing and I went into here and I did smooth and smooth and I had right you know changed it from each one of those and it still wasn't working so the way it was coming up it looked like there was like pausing wasn't it there was like a pause between each one so anyway so I took those outer boxes off and oh my god that finally worked so that's only taken me like all day to suss out. But there you have it. So to recap, you need to call in the SVG itself by dragging and dropping it. Then you need to double click it, double click it again, 
remove the outer frame. Mind you, I did have a problem with this donut thing, so getting it to let's try that. I didn't try it again actually. I did have a faff with the donut and I couldn't get it to work before, but um Oh it did, sort of. Still did a little bit of a pop though on the circle. But anyway, yes, so you drag the SVG in. So you don't call it in via the image, you drag it straight in, take it off to the side, double click it once, double click it twice, remove the outer box, hook them up and you're good to go. So that's it. Enjoy. Put down in the links below what you've done with it. I'd love to see. Okay, bye then. Thank you.